Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are doing great. I'm excited to say that I want to start recording a new video tutorial series about FreeSwitch. What is FreeSwitch? FreeSwitch is a free and open source application. It runs on one or more servers to provide a real-time communication, including WebRTC, video and voice over IP. Also, it supports messaging or chat. FreeSwitch can run on Linux, Windows, macOS, and FreeBSD, so you have a lot of options to run the FreeSwitch on it. But of course, the best option is always Linux, especially Debian for Switch, because the developers are using Debian to develop this package. So if you want to build a Pebex system for your office, for example, run an IVR or a voice menu, or have your own or if you want to have your own video conferencing platform with chat and screen sharing capability free switch is your answer it's very powerful and robust you will see it's using widely in the internet and in a lot of projects in the first video i want to teach you how to install uh, free switch on debian why debian or why linux uh, the main answer is that because the free switch developers are using Debian to develop this package so and the tests and uh, everything will be tested on the Debian first so it's better to stick to the Debian also we have different type of installations you can install the apt the normal package manager of the Debian if you are adding the free switch source to your Debian or you can install from source I I'm choosing to install from source because um, the, my main reason is that a lot of tutorials or ebooks or even the free switch tutorial or wiki when you are reading them they are uh, referring to the past for example USR local free switch that if you install via source it will install in the same path so you can follow the tutorials step by step this is this is my main uh, reason but of course it has other benefits as well for example if you want to customize your installation or if you don't want to install a specific package um, and also you have access to the source code if it is needed to go to the source code and for example check what's going on in the source code or if you want to uh, change the source code if you are familiar with that so that's the reasons that we need to learn how to install free switch from source code to install the free switch from source code we have these steps First, we need to get a token from SignalWire website. Then we need to download and compile the source code. And after downloading and compiling, uh, we have some post installation steps. Like we need to set ownership and permission. We need to configure the systemd, so whenever the, when we reboot the system or uh, when we when we want to start the system, we can use the systemd command. Uh, we need to set up the bash profile. We need to set an entropy source for the encryption. For example, when we want to uh, generate a cert, or we we can install and also and finally we can install the automatic uh, time synchronization packages. Of course, these are not maybe uh, the steps that you see in the wiki, but. I can tell you if you follow exactly these steps, you will have a, a working a stable free switch installation. So let's get started by getting a token from SignalWire website. In order to get a token from SignalWire, uh, you can register it free. I have already registered, so I will log in with my account. You need to click on the profile so after you log into the system you need to click on the profile and get a personal access token here you can generate a new token so profiles personal access tokens create generate a new token give it a name for example um, maybe I name it as free switch training and then I click generate token copy this token because after uh, you have saved it then you cannot have this token so copy somewhere 
we need it for the next step for the installation. So I'm copying here and I'm saving it. Next step after getting token from uh, SignalWire website is to download, compile, and install the source code. Before I want to start downloading and installing the source code, uh, I want to mention that all the installation steps I put in my wiki and I will provide the link in the video description so that you can copy or follow what I'm doing here. So the first step is to generate a token that I have already explained. The next step is actually to download, uh, add the repository of the free switch to your Linux systems and uh, actually configuring and uh, compiling and installing the source code. In order to do that, first you need to use a token variable in your shell. Here I have my Linux. I'm using actually Linux Cloud Platform to, for my own testing. So it's a VM, it's a Debian 11 in the cloud. So uh, the first step is that I put token and then I will put the token that I generated in the first step into my Linux share. Uh, you already know that this token is uh, different for you, so you need to put your own token. And then we need to uh, update the system and install some necessary packages, like wget, like uh, gnu, pg2. These are the packages that we needed for the installation. Also, we are adding the free switch and signal wire to our repo list so that our Linux can download the packages from the free switch website. So I'm just copy and paste here. And then I'm updating. When I'm updating, as you can see, it now can read from the free switch signal wire repos and I'm now I'm going to the building dependencies for the free switch each package in the Linux when you are installing it has some uh, dependencies for example I don't know it needs some libraries to be installed so this command uh, apt get build dependency free switch it will build all the dependencies that free switch package in need to install it will take some time to uh, download and install so I will Pause this part. Okay, installation of the prerequisite is done. Let's go to the next step. The next step is actually to get the source code from the Git. So we get it and put it into the USR SRC, so I will just copy the commands. We will go to the CD USR SRC and we are downloading the source code from the GitHub. Okay, after the downloading is done, we need to run uh, JIT config pull release true. This will fix to the same actually version so if they updated version to a new version uh, when we want to upgrade the system it doesn't go and pull the le uh, the new version it will actually fix to the current version that we have downloaded so this is a good command to use git uh, config pull release to true and then we are configuring this is the normal uh, using the bootstrap.sh-j and configure command it will uh, configure, check all the dependencies, and prepare the code for uh, being compiled. Okay, configuration is done. The next step is to actually compile the code using command make and install the code. Next command is actually to install the sounds file and uh, music on hold files. For example, for uh, when you are holding someone on the phone, then this music will play. Or for example, we have some sound files for the voicemail. So uh, we can just copy these three commands, make, make, install, and make uh, sound and uh, CD MOH install to compile, install, and 
download and install the sound files. Okay, installation of the code is done. Uh, we have already configured, compiled, and installed the code, and also music on hold and necessary sounds files are installed. As you can see, it's downloaded the free sound music, and it have already copied to the folder that uh, we need it. And next step is actually post installation that I will uh, record in the next video, and then we will see after the installation what needs to be done to set permissions. Uh, configure systemd and the other options that we need to run a free switch and uh, thank you for watching i will see you in the next video on how to do the post installation for a free switch installation thank you